guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And this is our review for Annabelle 3, Why the Fuck Does This Sequel Exist? Ready, Kafka? Shit. God damn you, Mike! So the first thing I want to say about this movie is, uh, it's not a spoiler, Ed and Lorraine Warren are barely in the motherfucker, okay? Yeah, they bookend it. I was like, God damn, like, you didn't have enough money? It's basically, basically Ed and Laurie and Warren are there, and you, you meet their daughter, who they've been neglecting for all these fucking Conjuring Universe yeah, years. Yeah, she looked like fucking Lydia from Beetlejuice. <laughs> so, <laughs> she was actually... I liked really her. No, nice. actually, the actors were great. I but. like how when she reacted to shit, she was like, it's no big fucking deal. I know. Like, you know uh, it was I've cool. been through some shit. I would, be, I would follow her through Vietnam. But basically, they leave to go do whatever dark bidding on the internet they go to do, <laughs> and then they're like, hey, there's some pizza on the fridge. We have the best babysitter in human fucking history. Literally, if this were any other babysitter, there'd be shit to worry about, but they happen to catch, capture actual Lori Strode, the babysitter, to come over and She's watch good. their daughter, who really gives a shit, and that, that's wonderful. If you're gonna be away from your children because you're investing fake paranormal cases, they pick the right one. Yeah, she wasn't concerned with going on Twitch and showing her titties while the kid was asleep. She wanted to fucking make sure that kid had a birthday cake. She wasn't even smoking good for her. pot like the, ki the babysitters in Halloween 2018, um, and I consider them good babysitters. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we have low standards, but she rose above. <laughs> but yeah, so the thing about this movie is that surprisingly for me and you guys know like how fucking terrified I am of any horror movie related this really wasn't scary like I mean to be honest I had a lot of fun watching it it, it almost felt like I got I should have got like a mug a t-shirt and a balloon <laughs> for surviving Universal Studios horror night it was a ride it, 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 that's all it was like this movie felt and it, that's why I think I enjoyed it so much uh, as for uh, it felt like an early 2000s 13 ghosts uh, with a little bit of Ghostbusters mixed in there because it almost felt like Annabelle was like, he wants to shut down the uh, protection grid on the containment unit. You shut that thing down and we will not be held responsible. <laughs> and, like, it felt like that whole fucking thing because they put Annabelle in there with all these other uh, artifacts that were cursed and haunted and it, it, it acts as a beacon and wakes all these bitches up. Technical aspects, the way they told the story, the way they, all the actors were good, mm -hmm. um, the way they told the story, the direction, the cinematography, all that shit looked good. Mm -hmm. It was a well oiled movie, I should say. Yeah. But the problem is, and like I said, what you said sounded so much more interesting than what the movie actually becomes, because what the movie is, and it could be that if it were a normal Tell them about movie. the Twinkie. <laughs> all it is, though, is it's all that shit that sounds cool, but they water it down with this Conjuring Universe typical fucking bullshit yeah. that's in every one of these goddamn movies. And before I get ahead of myself, I'm- You're an angry elf. I, dude, I'm so sick of this shit. The Warrens go away, and they leave their daughter there, and uh, the babysitter comes over, and, and her fucked up kind of goth friend comes over. She's not goth, but you know, her, yeah. her friend comes over. One thing leads to another. She stumbles into the basement. She, she takes Annabelle out of the case. And, and she does just fucking everything. Like she's a klepto. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I'm gonna steal that. God, I'm gonna need him. God, 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 the crime scene. I probably would do the same. It's like, God, I need him. God, 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 need him. But she, 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 one way or another, releases all these things. So, uh, and and a cool aspect of the movie, the whole movie pretty much takes place in their house. Yeah. And it's a true haunted house story. And they unleash everything into one house that's gonna come up and go bump in the night and fuck with them. So that that's a synopsis. But it's like an attraction. And I, oh, I can appreciate yeah. that. I can appreciate the simpleness of that. I can I can appreciate how. Most most of it takes place in one setting, and it's very, very simple. Because you remember the nun? That shit was confusing and yeah, convoluted. That, and oh, now well, we're in Germany. You know what? I don't thing, fucking care. I think the nun was trying to be more than it was. They weren't having yeah. fun with the material. At least in this, you can tell that they're having fun sure. with it, which I appreciated that. But dude, they fucking they just watered all down with this this goddamn formulaic Conjuring Universe It's shit. like a Pepsi that you leave out on your nightstand. Dude, if all, like, mm, yeah. is gone. And if all you're, if, <laughs> dude, if all you're expecting, if all you want out of this movie is to go see a, a really well-made Conjuring Universe film, then you're gonna get what you bargain. You're gonna get what you paid for. It's gonna be great. Because all they do is they copy and paste this fucking formula where what they do is no one's ever in any real goddamn danger. Nobody fucking dies. Look at the goddamn Fuck. body count for the fucking whole universe and it's horse shit. No one's, none of the main characters have ever fucking died in one of these movies. I may, I may be wrong, there may be one or two, but it's the same shit. You give a 20 minute fucking intro, you go around the corner, there's something creepy fucking happening, You the, the fucking music gets a little bit louder, you know the jump scare's coming, you, you, you turn the corner, oh the jump scare I thought was there wasn't there, turn this corner, there's the jump scare, it's a face that goes, ah! And then either the victim runs away or the goddamn monster runs away. I feel like now. Wait though. Yeah. Ten more minutes. Give it ten more minutes of some dialogue. I need and a some breath. Character shit. Give it ten more minutes, and then we go. Breath. Another creepy noise. I'll go investigate it. I'll go into a dark room. I hear something. I turn. Ah! 
scary face. It runs yeah. away or the victim runs away. No one's ever in any real fucking danger. It's the safest place to go in the middle of a sphere of thunderstorm. This house is clear. <laughs> I was just I, of dude, it. your fucking rage was infecting me. I, you came bitch. Out. I felt like you were a gamma radiation bomb and I was slowly becoming the Hulk. I was like, ah! It's, but it's yeah. so simple! And then next Monday night on WWF, we will take the title from the Legion of Doom! Rises to the top. Yeah, fuck yeah! Don't get me wrong, some of the monsters look cool. Some of the monsters seem like, oh, that would be a really good fucking idea. Yeah. I'd like to see a movie about that. And then you go, God damn it, I'm in the fucking advertisement trap again. But because I still think it was cool because it's like seeing all the ghosts released in Ghostbusters. But none it's of like, them fuck yeah, what's that? What's that do? Right, but none of them fucking matter. Like if it's one movie and you're like, okay, whatever, that was fun to look at for yeah. a second. But they're trying, they're literally, it's, they, you're watching a fucking advertisement for a future fucking Conjuring That's movie. That's fine. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're literally saying like, okay, here's this guy. They're throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Because you, you bring about a character, you give them two seconds of backstory. Just so, oh, that sounds like creepy. Let's throw that in there. Let's have a tape where this kid says this. You show the guy for two seconds. He jumps out and goes, ah! The character runs away, then that guy's gone, and then you're like, okay, but if people really like him, we'll make a whole movie about that. And they guy. will. And, and that's they, okay. Dude, they interviewed Gary Dolberman, uh, uh, who, who's who's taking place in all these movies. Uh, not all these movies, but he was he was part of It. He was a part of The Nun. He was a part of many of these movies. And it's the same shit. They interviewed him, and they asked him about the characters. He's like, yeah, I didn't really. I wrote like a half a page backstory, and I thought it sounded creepy. And then he was like, I thought if people really like it, we can delve more into it. And that's yeah. exactly what they do. There's no heart or like, there's no like cool backstory. Story. It's just like two seconds of dialogue, and then they throw it in, and none of it means fucking dick. Well, I think that um, this movie represents a lot of missed opportunities to make it really special. Like, look, I thought the last Annabelle movie was actually done pretty decent. Like, it was actually pretty scary. Like, the, the beginning fucking sucked. Like, I mean, you know, the, the prequels or what, or not the prequel, but the one before that one. I don't remember. What, I mean, I didn't like the Annabelle. First Annabelle movie, yeah. I didn't like that one. And then they came out, was it the next one? Was it the last one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one actually wasn't Creation. bad. Like, in the, in the farmhouse. And, and this, this one's right there with that. Well, no, I, because but. I feel like this one was more rock and roll, kind of, versus what they were going for in the other movie. It felt like they were actually trying to replicate the conjuring uh, uh, nervousness yeah. that they had uh, pr previously had. I don't, but there are moments in this film where you're like, okay, I could see them expanding that moment and making it all, you know, encompassing, making it very, you know, on the edge of your seat. Like, I'm fucking kind of nervous now. Like, I don't know what's going to happen around the corner. But instead, they want to go where Jaws pops out of the fucking water and you're like, I like it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little drunk, but I like it. But but you want it maybe to go in and see it and then like maybe think about it. Like, it's one of those movies that you leave the theater and you're like... I'm, I'm forgetting it as I'm walking Every out. time! Every but, but nonetheless, time. I had a good time. Well, if you're having a great time watching it, it's okay. But well, there's just so, like, I get, oh, for a movie, like, for yeah, a one-off for, yeah. for one or two-off or whatever, it's like, okay, but they're, like, they're creating a whole universe around this. They're deciding to focus on this instead of making a new Nightmare on Elm Street or That's doing any of this no. other shit, and they're pumping these fucking movies out like they're goddamn Star Wars, and it's the same fucking thing every time. They're Don't get me wrong. Dispensers. Like I said, dude, the formula, I'm not saying the formula doesn't work. I, I'm not saying that, like, I, I took my nine-year-old to see this, and, like, for a lot of it, I was like, oh my what god. Was her rating? It's the same. She liked it a lot. Ah. Uh, she fucking loved it. But, like, it was the same thing for a lot of the movie as, like, La Llorona was, which was, like, again, slow moment, jump scare. 15 minutes, jump scare, 15 minutes, jump scare, and then at the end, what they do is they throw several jump scares back to back, and that's their big finale. Yeah. Like I said in the article I wrote about this, it's 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 just like a fucking Winchester, Kentucky fireworks show. Mm. Couple fireworks, a big finale. I liked end. it. It's the same guy. I got thing. a corn dog. And don't get me wrong though, at the same time, when the when the final finale came up, there's a certain kid, there's two characters that came up. Coins guy mm -hmm. and horns guy. I like guy. coins guy. He was creepy. I, but they, there's no fucking depth to it at all. They will be. I think it's one. Yeah, they'll charge us twin. No, fucking dog. You guys, movie ticket too. Do you guys remember WCW when they were introducing those characters, like Glacier? Do you remember Glacier? They like had this whole promo for him. It was like Glacier, and they would just show like little like bits and pieces of him. That's kind of like how they introduced Coin Guy. So Coin Guy's gonna have his own movie eventually, but it's like introducing little small patches of it. You're like NWO. Like what's gonna happen but next? They don't even make it. They don't even make it up front. They don't even have it built in. They go, let's show something scary, and then if people we like it, we'll just make up some shit. Yeah, I just wish they would try to do a little bit more depth but you get to the end act and like i said it's that it's the fireworks explosion show it's the it's the it's the big finale yeah and a couple of the characters they brought in mainly horns that's all i'll say about uh -huh. it, that 
like there's there's gonna be something I feel like for everybody that actually freaks him out, and that guy scared the fuck out of me. He woke me out of my fucking. Spirit, that's dude. weird because you were Freak scared. Man. I was like, when I saw him. I was like, ah, that's the Jaws part. Like I was like, oh, I was waiting all day. I've been drinking fucking uh, pina colada since noon, and now you finally popped out of the water. You're waiting on these empty jump scares to lead to something. But finally, but when he did, I just felt like like that motherfucker looked like something that Blade would whoop his ass. Like it just looked like a Blade mm -hmm. creature. But nonetheless, I'm just scared of the devil. So that I don't know if it was the out. devil or if it wanted to be the devil. But I, I actually thought that when they showed him, I'm like, oh, do that. Instead of just going, that toy looks creepy, let's make it grow. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of doing that, do the devil. Do something really fucked well, up and dark. And I thought they might go there and I got excited and they didn't. I did get excited because I had watched, the, the, like, I, like I said, I watched the documentary before and I knew where that thing came from. And I was like, that's pretty fucking cool that they added that in. Like, they actually did their research and they actually showed that shit. But nonetheless, um, I'm going to give the movie a 7.0. It's pretty much exactly what IMDb gave it. Uh, I, I liked it a little bit more than Mike. Um, I had a fun time fucking watching it, maybe because I didn't fill my fucking adult diapers while I was watching it, but I had a great time. Uh, you know, we had a, a full theater, or I had a full theater, and it was like, it was, um, you know, it seemed like everybody got into it. Like, you know, it, they like, do. again, it was, uh, when I say the analogy Universal Studios Horror Ride, that's exactly what it was. It goes through the whole fucking thing, the, you know, the rungs and all that shit, and you're like, oh, yeah, fuck it, just shit, just shit. How much time do we have left on this ride? It kind of goes like that. You get a little bored sometimes, but you still ultimately have fun, and that's what it's all about. Um, I do think they missed a lot of things about it. Like, I mean, I could, I, I watched this movie the entirety, and I'm like, yeah, I, I'm scared of horror movies, and I'm like, I could take parts of this, and I'm not even a writer, I can take parts of this and make it more, like, more scary, more, um, more, um, disturbing to the folks. And you don't have to have gore and grotesque things to make it that way, just psychological, just to, to fuck with them, you know, and, and then when they leave the theater, they, it would, it would stay with them for a few days. Now, you, you know, you're not going to guarantee that it's always going to happen with a horror movie, but with the Conjuring universe, the Conjuring one, for sure, I mean, it did fuck with people, the, you know, Insidious and stuff like that, I just felt like this went the safe route. It went, it went a route to get more money, and they did. I thought they did a great job as, as far as like that, but I feel like they marketed it, like, they marketed it to let you, like, to think that Patrick Wilson was gonna be back in it fully, and um, the girl that plays uh, Lorraine. Vera Farmiga. Yes, yeah, fucking, oh my God. But they're not, and that's not a spoiler. They're in it in the beginning and the end, and by the way, at the end, and you're talking about, I do feel, it felt like it was like a, it, it, the ending, the way that they wrap it up, it felt like a cheap ass supernatural episode, and I, I felt like any moment they were gonna play like a rock, oh like a rock. <laughs> like I mean, like and I know it's a car commercial song, but I'm mean, I always like when I hear that song, I always think of like people playing it like out in the yard, and there's a picnic, and somebody's you know dad's catching with with young son David, and then somebody's flying a kite, and then Gage gets killed by a semi truck. Like you know, just normal outings. <laughs> but but yeah, I I felt like the ending was so. Uh, it was so abrupt and cheap like it was just like okay it's like and the more you know and then the fucking star comes across like it just it, I was like what the, the characters in the Goosebumps TV show have more depth than the scary things in the night that they bring out in these and that's what gets me like uh, okay for what you did you made a successful movie yeah. that's why it's a positive score for me at the end of the day there's parts of the movie I enjoyed the horns guy scared the fuck out of me for a second there uh, but it's just like it's so upsetting because it's like watching a preseason football game and your team is just <laughs> fucking someone up you, you know? get the third the third stringer in there yeah like the they're, third they're string fucking ruining but then you gotta go like it's preseason like it doesn't actually mean anything they're not trying to make a, anything legit or truly lasting it's all just pop fucking scared. Like I give it a 7.0, Mike gives it a 6.0. It, so it's good. Both your your uh, you know your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your your wife, your husband. Take your family with you. Go to the church group. Get a football final, whatever you want, <laughs> and then go enjoy the film. Love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn well in you because we'll be here to review every one of these twelve cocksucking fucking movies. What? I will not be doing that. <laughs> I don't think so, Jim. <laughs> We watched a movie. Uh -huh. mm. We watched a movie.